Good morning. It is part of our being human that we have a mind, we have a heart, that we are tormented by many questions. Some people become blind to the questions and they live as if the, those questions do not exist. But if you sit a while, think about life, you will realize what the Second Vatican Council already said in 1965. Human beings look to their religions for an answer to the unsolved riddles of human existence. Unsolved cannot be solved completely. The problems that weigh heavily on the hearts of human beings are the same today as in ages past. What is a human being? What is the meaning and purpose of life? What is correct behavior and what is sinful? Where does suffering originate and what end that is, does it serve? But by cancer. May pamangkin ako, 29 years old pa lang, dalawang little boys, very cute. May cancer. Bakit? Yung mga trolls na yung mayaman, purveying lies, nagpapakalat ng lagim at kasinungalingan, malulusog naman. How can genuine happiness be found? Saan tayo maghanap ng kaligayahan? Sa TikTok ba? O sa Mobile Legends? Sa BTS ba? O sa pagpapalaganap ng kasinungalingan? What happens at death? Yun ang last question. What is judgment? What reward follows death? And finally, the most tormenting question, what is the ultimate mystery beyond human explanation which embraces our entire existence from which we take our origin and towards which we tend? Anong uri? Anong uri ba ng Diyos pinapaniwalaan natin? Tormenting the human hearts. Puzzling, intriguing, and many people, according to the bishops, nabubuhay na hindi man lang nahaharap yung mga malalim na tanong na ating buhay. Minsan pati sa mga naniniwala, sa mga humili, recollection, sa mga turo, ang babaw. Minsan yung mga sinasabi, parang kay ano na eh, kay ito ang inyong tia Adeli, mga popular sayings, mga platitude. Harapin natin itong questions na ito. Otherwise, we will not reach the fullness of our humanity. Ganyan din ako naman. Nag-aral ako sa UST. Kung saan-saan ka napupunta, may fraternity ka, aral-aral ka dyan, minsan nagpi-flirt ka doon sa mga magagandang kaklase mo, hindi hinaharap yung malalim na tanong. Kaya lang, sinabi ko na sa inyo rin, natakpan ako, nalambungan ng isang veil na madilim, napakaitim. Wala akong ibang mapuntahan. Kumapit ako sa krus. Doon ko na-realize yung sinabi sa Ebanghelyo ngayon. It is the Lord. Hanggang, sa aking palagay lang ito ha, ah, hanggang hindi mo na rating yung pinakamalalim na darkness, hindi mo rin makikilala si Jesus bilang Panginoon at Tagapagligtas. O maaari kang magsimba-simba dyan, kanta-kanta ka ng purihin ng Panginoon, mukhang masaya ka naman. Kailangan ipako ka sa krus eh, para may resurrection. So yung mga tao lang na napako na sa krus, sila lang nakakaunawa talaga ng kaligayahan ng muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoon. They become the Easter people. Samantalang karamihan, pahapyaw, hungkag, mababaw ang pamumuhay. 
Sabi ni Mark Twain, dalawang beses kang pinanganak, pinapanganak. You are born twice. First, when your mother gives birth to you. And second, when you find out why. You are born as a child, and then later on, you are born again when you find out the reason why you are a human being, why you are in this universe, why will you die, why will your knees have cancer, and why your mother will leave you when you miss her as much as anyone else. In the gospel today, revelation is mentioned three times. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. And the last sentence, and this was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. So as we celebrate Easter, tatanungin natin yung ating sarili. Hindi kaya pahapyaw yung buhay ko. Am I not living a very superficial life? Should I not confront the questions that has bothered human beings since the dawn of time? What is a human being? What is death? What is good and evil? So that Christ can reveal the answers to you. In the first reading, Peter said, There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. To be saved. I once was lost, and now I'm found, was blind, and now I see. Revelation in the Gospel of John in the Greek is aletheia. The taking away of the veil, ang pagtanggal ng lambong. Para malaman mo kung ano ang katotohanan tungkol sa buhay mo, kung bakit ganyan ka, bakit mamamatay ka sa wakas. I wanted to be a millionaire before I was 35 years old. Then I realized, maganda kaya yung ikaw ang pinakamayaman na tao sa kolumbaryum? Yung abo ka nala. Okay kaya yun? Na lahat ng sandali ng buhay mo, pagpapayaman. Pagkatapos, sa kolumbaryum, ikaw ang pinakamayaman. Siguro malaki-laki yung urn mo, baka gold pa yung urn mo. Abo ka pare. Pangangatawanan mo lahat ng sandali ng kahungkagan ng superficiality na inilaan mo, di, na ini, sinabuhay mo dito sa lahat ng taon na nabuhay ka sa mundong ito. So today, during the Mass, let us pray that we will have the strength to confront the tormenting questions of our very humanity. And if we are in darkness, that we will finally experience God's revelation, the revelation of the risen Christ, and we can say, It is the Lord.